Saints and Titans game, the premiere of Derek Carr. We also see Ryan Tannehill and the Titans going back at it again. Tannehill had a horrible game. Um, my takeaway for the Titans is how long will it be before they bench Ryan Tannehill? This is his last year. They restructured his deal. This will definitely be his last year by the end of it. When will we see Mayo Boy? When will we see Malik Willis run it back? Um, D Hop looks like he'll be their bell cow as far as uh, targets is concerned. But if the guy is going to be throwing it to the defense more than you, that's a bad sign. So I'm not overly in love with the Titans so far. And then for the Saints, I mean, Derek Carr, definitely an improvement in the quarterback position compared to last year. <laughs> I think their defense is still going to be good as it always is. Um, interested to see how they're going to be when Elvin Kamara returns in a few games. I think between their run game with Elvin Kamara when he returns, along with the Jamal Williams as a one-two punch, you have Chris Olave, who looked really solid. Michael Thomas had some nice catches. Looks like he'll be really good. Um, I think they're going to be a pretty good team. I see them in the playoffs. I think they're definitely a playoff team. I think they'll be competing with the Falcons by the end of it. And I think Derek Carr, I, I wish him well in New Orleans. Yeah, I wish Derek Carr well in New Orleans. And then I know it's apparently it's a casual take to say that Derek Carr is going to improve them, even though they started Jameis Winston last year. And then oh yeah, who's the guy? Trevor Simeon as well started for them. So I think Derek Carr is definitely improvement an improvement over those guys. I don't think that's a casual take. And then the fact that he just bombed it at the end of the game to seal the game. I thought that was a huge sign um, that the saints are really going to open up the playbook for him. They're going to let him do his thing. And one thing Derek Carr always produces is great fantasy receivers. And I think we already saw that connection with Chris Olave. Chris Olave had a great year last year with very mid quarterback play, not going to name names. And then Michael Thomas, if he can return to himself, just that reliable slant boy is what the saints have been missing over the past few years. So I think they were improved. And then the reason I picked the saints to win this game is it's tough to win in the Superdome. And that defense is still really good. We saw Marshawn Lattimore pick off Ryan Tannehill. He was in D hop's face. D hop had a tough debut. They were able to slow down Derek Henry. Henry, he only had about 60 yards rushing in that game. So overall, I think the Saints defense is really what's going to be able to carry them. And then Derek Carr being able to be a steady hand at quarterback, not very fluctuational like Jameis Winston was in the past or Trevor Simeon. So I think that'll be really solid for them. But for the Titans, I wouldn't overreact with Ryan Tannehill and they're not going to forget where he's taken them, which is the AFC championship. And I want to give him time to really be able to develop that chemistry with DeAndre Hopkins and Traylon Burks, give him an opportunity to step up again. And then um, Westbrook Aquanu looked really good in this game. He it's looked close. like he was improved in the off season. So I think give Derrick Henry some time to get going. That defense still looked really good. They were able to step into a tough environment and pretty much shut down the saints for the most part. This, uh, they picked up Derek Carr. They weren't able to stop them on the last drive, but they really didn't see that bomb coming. Uh, but overall, I think the Titans are still going to be a tough out. That defense is still really good. I think Ryan Tannehill is still a guy at quarterback, but like you said, I do still worry about him. So if he continues to unravel, I'll be concerned. But I just think the Saints environment playing in the Superdome against a great defense is a really tough way to start the year. I'll look to see what he does against an inferior defense like the Chargers at home. 